Well, this probably won't be of interest to many people, <laughs> but when I was working on this big ugly axe head, you know, I just went and ground all that burr off of it, and I'd given up trying to read the name on there. But after I was done grinding this down, I started working on the rusty area here, and some of this rust got up into the spot where that marking was, and I can now make out that it was a Marshall Wells, which was a big time hardware store out of Duluth. And they made a whole line of uh, axes and stuff. Well, a lot of the axes were made by a company in Canada that was uh, they ended up being part of uh, Kelly and then part of True Temper. You know, uh, axe companies changed hands and, and jumped around, and a lot of them were made, especially for hardware stores, they were made by other companies. You know, like Man made a lot of axes for all kinds of people, but they had their hardware store name on them. But this was supposedly a Canadian company who made these. But it's good to know, I'm sure there was... You know, being as the script is curved, I'm sure there was another line up above that would have said uh, the name of it, I believe, because they had uh, one called a Northern King, and that could have very well been what it was. But it doesn't really matter. You know, I just thought out of curiosity, I, once it showed up like that, you know, it kind of startled me. But I'm getting her work down into some kind of a condition. You know, I got all the burrs off it, but now I'm just polishing it up and I've got to take, well, this burr on the inside, I've got to take that out yet. But it'll turn out to be a fairly good axe. But it had been, you know, severely abused, but I was just surprised to see that, that Marshall Wells stand out so clear, and it didn't until I started sanding on this rusty stuff. And some of this rust got up in there. There was just enough depth of those ledgers for it to show up. I just thought it might interest some people.